this is cooking with coach d so guess what today you guys are my guinea pig i've never done this dish before so i'm actually winging this dish so i'm gonna try to let you know what the measurements are and i'm hoping that this is gonna turn out good it's just something that i wanted to try um so today i am going to do curry shrimp yes curry shrimp the other day me and my husband went to a jamaican restaurant and he loved the curry shrimp so i was like i'm gonna try to do this curry shrimp so um yes i looked up some different curry shrimp recipes but um they didn't quite give me what i was looking for so i just went in the store and said you know what i'm just gonna come up with my own so please bear with me now for the curry shrimp i have um of course i have some fresh shrimp I have mushrooms, onions, I have green, red, um, and yellow sweet bell peppers. I have green onions, I have white onions, I have some cilantro as well, I have some salt pepper, and I have some curry powder. Um, so we're gonna take this for a spin. Now, the spin that I'm doing is that I'm gonna add a little white wine to it. Okay, so we're gonna see how that comes out, okay? And I'm also gonna put some coconut milk in it as well. So let's see how this is going to play out. Like I said, you guys are my guinea pigs. So I went ahead and cut my stove on and I am going to put some olive oil. Well, not olive oil, I don't use olive oil, I use grapeseed oil. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons, that was probably about two tablespoons of grapeseed oil into my pan. I'm gonna let it, you know, heat up a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some uh, minced garlic in. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna put some minced garlic in. And when we put this minced garlic in, we're gonna let this minced garlic cook a little bit. I'm gonna add my onions. I'm going to add my peppers, I'm gonna add my scallions, and I'm going to add my mushrooms. Well, actually, I'm not gonna add my mushrooms yet. I'm gonna wait and add my mushrooms. Um, but I will add the, um, so we have two tablespoons of um, grapeseed oil. You can use olive oil if you want to. I just prefer grapeseed. Um, and then I'm gonna do some white onions. I'm going to do some scallions, and I'm going to do some green, red, and yellow bell peppers, okay? So we're going to see how this is going to come turn out. I'm excited to see what we are going to get. Okay. So, um, but yes, uh, yeah, this, you're the guinea pigs. We're doing this on a whim. We're going to see what happens. Okay. And, um, what I'll probably do for dinner is I'll probably saute some green beans and we'll have a little white rice or something with it. Um, and I'm a transparent person. I got to make um, rice and peas one day, but I'm still perfecting my rice and peas. You know, it's almost there, um, but I'm still perfecting it the way I want it to be. So um, tonight they're going to have a little white rice, a little steamed white rice. Okay. So let's see. Um, our pan is still warming up with this grapeseed oil in it. Okay. Okay, it's almost ready. Okay, we want to get it hot enough so that we can get the onions and the peppers and stuff. They can be sizzling around a little bit or whatever. So um, it will probably be about, let's see, I'm going to probably take about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay. There we have a little teaspoon of minced garlic. We want to cook that around a little bit. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and add some of my onions in because what you don't want to happen is your garlic to burn. You don't want your garlic to burn, okay? All right. And so, adding some onions right there. Ooh, those onions smell good. Okay, um, I would say that's probably a half a cup of uh, white onions. Now we're going to add some red and some yellow and green peppers in here. Give me a little bit more red. Give me a little bit more green. Okay, I love colors in my food too. Okay, all right. So... We got that going. This is 
going to be interesting. Okay. Now we are going to add our scallions. I would say this is definitely probably like one fourth cup of, um, not scallions, but green onions. Okay. Here's my rag. Y'all know I gotta have my rag. Okay. We're cooking this around. Smelling good. Alright. Good. My onions are becoming a little translucent, which means they're coming clear. I can see through them a little bit. Okay. Smells good, y'all. up. Hope y'all had an amazing day today. All right. So I'd say that you have your two tablespoons of grapeseed oil or olive oil, about a half a cup of white onions, one fourth cup of green onions, and I'd say probably um, oh, a half a cup to almost a cup of different colored sweet peppers, which is yellow, green, orange, red, okay? All right, so now my next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my Blue Mountain Curry Powder, okay? So let's see. Okay, this is about two teaspoons right here, okay? So I'm adding it in, okay, all right, now I'm adding it in, it is mixed all in, and now I'm going to add my white wine. Ooh. So I say we probably added about a half a cup to a cup of white wine in here. Yeah, it's probably about a cup of white wine, okay? So we're gonna let this simmer and cook and come to a boil. That's what we want, okay? I'm gonna let this come to a boil, all right? Oh, there it goes. It's starting to boil up a little bit, okay? So we got our white wine with our peppers and onions and green onions and garlic okay it's cooking up okay and as i said i'm winging this y'all so i don't even know what i'm doing i'm just doing it okay so i'm gonna add a little pepper in here okay now y'all know when y'all added salt and pepper y'all don't be measuring y'all salt and pepper so i ain't measuring it okay i got a little um Salt. I'm adding in here. Y'all know y'all don't measure it, so don't don't hold it to me that I'm not measuring how much salt and pepper I'm putting in here now. Still cooking it up, it's tasting good. Okay. chicken stock in here just a little bit that's about one fourth cup right there of chicken stock okay or chicken broth okay so I'm gonna let that come up and boil up a little bit okay and next I am going to add some um, coconut milk all right, I'm gonna add some coconut milk. All right, let's cook 
cooking it up. All right, we're gonna turn it down to medium now because we were just at medium high. This is about a half a cup of coconut milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add this in here. Okay, that's a half a cup of coconut milk. There we go. There we go. just in case I decide to add the rest of the coconut milk in there. Okay. It's cooking. Okay. That tastes good. Tastes like curry. coconut milk in here okay thank you I'm gonna add some co more coconut milk in here all right so that was about a cup of coconut milk and we are letting that simmer okay now so we're letting that simmer and so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little cornstarch because I want it to be a little thicker than it is. Okay. So it's cooking up. I'm going to add a little cornstarch in here. So I already have a cornstarch water mixture that I have. Okay. So, so far we did two tablespoons of grapeseed or olive oil. We um, sauteed our garlic around in it. We sauteed our onions in it, our peppers and our green onions. Um, and after we did that, we added about two teaspoons of curry powder. We added some salt and some pepper. We also went ahead and added about a cup of white wine into the solution. So we added the white wine in, and then we added a cup of um, coconut milk. And so it's cooking up real nice. And so I'm going to just have this. This is a, um, this is a solution of cornstarch and water which helps thicken things I'm not gonna put a whole whole lot in it okay all right so it's probably about two teaspoons of water and cornstarch solution mix okay we go yeah that's how I want it okay so there we go it's looking good so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some mushrooms in okay so I am adding a few mushrooms in About a half a cup of mushrooms. We're adding in here. Okay. Y'all hear something in the background? That's my kids. They're upstairs. I don't know what they're watching. What they doing? They was playing a video game and so. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do that once this kind of cooks up a little bit. I am going to add our shrimp in. Good. Okay. Good. Let's see. I'm gonna now I'm gonna add just a little bit of water in here, about one fourth cup of water. Okay. A 
looks good, y'all. Y'all see that? Okay, bring it up so y'all can see. Ooh, look at all those colors. See that? All right, so this is what we have so far. Okay, now I'm gonna get ready to add my shrimp in. And remember, when you add your shrimp in, you do not wanna add your shrimp in the beginning because you do not want to overcook your shrimp. Please do not overcook the shrimp. Please do not overcook the shrimp, okay? You do not want to overcook your shrimp because if you overcook your shrimp, it's going to be chewy and gummy. You do not want to do that, okay? So we're going to get ready to add our shrimp in. And then when you do add your shrimp in, make sure that when you add your shrimp in, that once it um once the shrimp is cooked, that you take it off of the take it off of the, the eye. Because what you don't want to happen is it to continue cooking, okay? So here we go. So on my shrimp, all I did was put a little salt and pepper on the shrimp because the curry. Um, sauce already has enough seasonings in it okay so I just put a little salt and pepper so I'm just adding a few shrimp in here okay shrimp already starting to cook and turn a little pink okay so we just gonna let that cook and we will be right back and we're gonna see what happened and we are back so it has finished cooking all right and we are gonna take it and let's see I am going to put it some like in a little bowl so you guys can see how it looks so turn that off so this is how it looks okay all right so this is what we have all right, that looks really good. We got our curry shrimp, okay? As I said, y'all, I did this on a whim, something that I just wanted to try. And so let me, let me try it. Hot. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Oh yes, that's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got a pork right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be even better with some rice. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good, y'all. So again, tell y'all what I did. Okay. So finished product okay y'all see that those pretty colors all right it's gonna look real pretty on top of some white rice okay y'all will see a pic y'all seen the picture because for me to broadcast this I did a picture um but again what did I do I took um a two tablespoons of grapeseed oil or you can use olive oil Put it in the pan, let it heat up, sauteed some garlic and some onions and some green peppers, okay? So it was two tablespoons of um, grapeseed oil, about a teaspoon of gar minced garlic, um, about a half a cup of white onions, one-fourth cup of green onions. Then I took about a cup of red, yellow, and green um, bell peppers. And I also, um, and so once we did that, we let it cook around, saute around. We added two teaspoons 
of curry powder and we cook that around just a little bit and then we add about a cup of white wine so you can do a half a cup to a cup of white wine okay did about a half a cup to a cup of white wine and after we did that we added in our mushrooms and we let that cook around we added probably about one fourth cup of um chicken broth all right, so we let it cook around and we waited till the very end to add our mushrooms and to add our shrimp in because we don't want our shrimp to overcook at all. You do not want overcooked shrimp, I'm telling you. It tastes like bubble gum, okay? And so that's what we did and it tastes amazing. So the spin on it was I used some white wine. I ain't never done it before. Oh, and do not forget that after you add um, the white wine, you need to add in your coconut milk, okay? Add in your coconut milk, about a half a cup of coconut milk. And I don't know what that sound was. It just came down the steps. Um, my kid's not yelling, so I guess nobody fell. Um, but in any case, so don't forget to add your coconut milk to it. So this has been Cooking with Coach D, a spin on curry shrimp. So we're going to see how the family likes it. And so until next time, remember with Coach D, it's not just a workout, but it's your life. See you next time.